and studs brick fanatics and ninjago fans we have another ninjago set that is up and ready for your building and viewing pleasure this is Bruins and studs and welcome back into the channel today we are going to be building the superb set the kai fighter a la the 2020 edition as promised we are going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison between the old model that was featured earlier during the week and this new model right now. Is this going to be the exact same thing that happened earlier between the old school J Stormfighter set versus the new kids on the block version? Stay tuned and I believe that we should have an answer by the latest at the end of this video. So this version of the Kai Fighter was released back on June 1st, 2020 and cost $39.99, which is an extremely good value for the amount of pieces that are in this set. While we are on the topic of pieces, there are a total of 513 in this set. There's an old adage that if the Lego set costs equal or less than 10 cents per piece, then you know that you are getting your money's worth in this set in terms of Lego pieces. So technically, if that were correct, then this set should cost north of $50, so again, you are getting a good deal. Anyway, the first thing that we are going to compare is the piece size between the OG set versus the new kid on the block set. The old set only had 196 pieces, which is a little bit anemic compared to the vast size of this new one. As I have said earlier, this new one weighs in at a hefty 513 pieces, so in the span of 7 years, the set has gained some massive weight, specifically 318 pieces, which is a ton in a Lego sense. The set more than doubled the amount of pieces than the old set, and it shows when you have them side by side with each other. The OG set, just by rough, I guess, eyeball estimate, is about a third larger, actually smaller than the new set. Speaking of estimation, we are currently north of 50 subs on this channel as of recording of this video. For the channel's current subscribers and supporters, I cannot thank you enough for being the foundation of this channel. You are the bricks that hopefully are going to be holding up this brick family tower that we are currently building on this channel. So thank you again for your constructive criticisms and ideas in which to improve the channel and expand on the current content that we currently have. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and joining this brick family. We have so much more in store for you in terms of not only Lego sets, but my on again, off again, vloggy in real life content called Besides the Bricks. And then I am slowly getting around to painting and producing um, how to paint miniature videos with regards to 40k Warhammer content. As of recording this video, there should be at least one of those painting guides up already and that should have showed you how to paint a vindicare assassin so yeah consider subscribing if you want to see more of this goodness on this channel while we are talking about subscribing i can finally plug in my social media outlets because this video is actually long enough where i can actually do that you can find me on twitter and instagram at spruce and studs as i have said before in prior videos i would recommend you to hop onto my socials because i usually release content with regards to YouTube weeks, if not months before the subject content gets released on YouTube. For example, in this video, people are who are subbed to my Instagram account know that this was coming out a month before the video hit the YouTube verse. I will also upload content with regards to Pokemon Go or displaying the hit cards that I receive when I open up random Pokemon card or Magic the Gathering packs. Yes, as I said before, I am a true weeb. I do like Pokemon, I do like magic, so you will be immersed in a variety of content if you sub to either my Twitter or my Insta. Back to focusing in on this set, uh, where were we? Oh yeah, comparing the old version versus the new version of this set. The old version, due to its diminutive size, will take anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes to build, which is not that much time at all. However. This new big boy will take anywhere between 45 minutes to an hour to complete. The old set only came with two minifigures, with the main one being Kai, one of the channel mascots, and a machine ninja. This particular newer set, on the other hand, doubles the amount of minifigures with the inclusion of Kai, Lloyd, and two machine ninjas, one of whom who wields a double 
red katana, which is super cool as katanas, aside from translucent Lego pieces, are my favorite pieces of quote unquote bricks. So there are a total of four numbered bags in this set. As you saw prior, the first bag focuses in on building one of the machine ninja that wields an interesting chain sword type of weapon with an axe blade as the hilt of the weapon. I really don't think too much of this weapon as it looks cumbersome and wieldy and generally not too pleasing to the eye. After you are done building the minifigure, you move on to building a turret that is manned by this cyber ninja. The thing that I like the most about this turret is that it actually makes sense in the LEGO set as the turret has missiles that try to shoot down the Kai Fighter. In the old J Storm Fighter set, the side model, aside from the jet, was a shrine on the ground that featured an anakine dry staff. What the hell does a staff or a shrine have anything to do with a fighter plane? I don't know. I'm just about as puzzled as you. However, I am glad the designers fixed that issue in this set by including a play element that was released or related to the main subject of the set. Moving on with the rest of the first bag, you start building the cockpit of the Kai Fighter. One of the bigger improvements from the old model to the new one is that there's actually an instrument panel that Kai can actually steer the jet towards the ninja's enemies. On the old set, the cockpit only allowed for Kai to lie back on it and that was it. No instrument panel, no nothing. I also like how the new jet called back to the old one, including the same front wing foils, i.e. the sticker Lego pieces with flames printed on it. Another thing that I like was the similar usage of the golden blades at the front of the jet. I'll bet the blades are a little bit spaced further apart in the reimagined set compared to the older one. In this aspect, I prefer the older design more than the newer, as the narrower offset makes the jet fighter look more sleek and aggressive as all jet fighters, in my opinion, should look. Step 2 started off with the build of Kai. One of the major differences between the old Kai versus the new one is the inclusion of the double-sided expression that are available on the head. Kai can either grimace or have a grin underneath the bandana on his face. Another difference is that the hair is made of hard plastic where the old one is made of a soft and flexible kind of plastic. After you are done with building Kai, you moved on with building the body of the jet fighter. As with the old model, the new one also allows the builder to pull back the wings and maintain a sleeker profile so the plane can slice through the air like a hot katana through butter. However, I like when the wings are arched forward on the jet because it gives the jet a more menacing and posing look. To me, the fighter plane is almost like a hawk hovering and waiting to dive at fantastical speeds to dispatch enemies and prey. Speaking of which, there is also a new play element that allows for this new model to look exactly like a soaring hawk. The cockpit can actually be angled down so that Kai can observe the ground, so I like this new addition to the set. Step 3 starts off with the build of Lloyd. Lloyd also features a head that is capable of two expressions. After you are done building with Lloyd, you move on to bulking up the body of the ship and adding more details to the body. You add more stickered elements, which again you've heard me say time and again, that I hate stickers, but at least the set does not have that many of them. In fact, there's only a total of 11. With the fourth and final step, you are almost done with the Kai Fighter. You will start off by building the last Machine Ninja, and this one sports a properly nasty and menacing look on his face. It also comes with dual wielding red katanas. Then you finish off the set by building the two wings of the jet. The wings also call back to the old model because they are in the same shape and they sport a golden blade. However, on the updated model, the golden blades are much bigger. There we have it folks, another fighter jet built and complete. So what do you think of this set? I'll be honest with you, uh, if I didn't like this set, then I wouldn't have bought it in the first place. That is the truth of every single set that I feature on this channel. Do I have any complaints with this model? If I had one, there's this black Lego element that's connected to the bottom of the jet that makes the jet a little bit off balance when you try to set it on the ground. I'm not too sure what the purpose of this thing is. In fact, I may just actually remove it because I think that it breaks apart the flow of the jet, even though it is attached to the bottom of it. So what do you guys think of the build? Do you think that it was cool and worth your money to buy? I'm not sure, but I think that this set may be discontinued in 2021, but don't quote me on it, so don't sit on it for that long if you're thinking of buying it. So which set did you like more than the other? Did you prefer the smaller old school set or the bigger, brawnier, new kid on the block set? Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. 
For me, this is a tough one. However, if push comes to shove, I would have to vote for the new one because it just looks more fleshed out and angrier than the old Kai Fighter. Well, it looks like that is all the time that we have for. So this is your humble host, Spruz and Studs, and I will see you all in the next build.